Hey guys, um, today I'm gonna be um, showing you how to make a homemade rangefinder. Um, I came up with this idea by um, just brainstorming. Well, the first thing you're gonna need is a drill. You know, drill bit. I, I use a 3 8 drill bit. Um, it doesn't have to be a 3 8 but it just has to be um, thick enough so you can see through it. Like the, the hole, since I already made it. Um, you need to the main thing is the Pringles cup, um, a tape measure, and a sharpie. It doesn't have to be a sharpie, but something that marks it, marks the um the lead. I mean the lid. Um, so the first thing you do, you just find try to find the middle, and you just drill a hole in it. Um, after you do that. You, you're gonna, you're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna use that anymore. The drill. So the only thing you need right now is your tape measure and the rest of the stuff. So the first thing, well, the second thing you're gonna do is um just let me just put this. Look, it depends. The range. The only problem with it is that um you have to the first. You can use that range finder when you go hunting, um, target shooting, or just um, sighting your scope. But the only problem with it is that the first thing you do when you get on the field, just um, measure um, the specific, like the first point that you mark, just measure it. And then that's the only thing you do, and then the rest works. Um, how I'm going to show you right now. So the first um, point that I'm gonna mark is for, I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do a step right here. I already made the line right here and everything, right here. Um. So the first thing you're gonna need another person, but um, my brother's not here, so I can't. I made my phone down, so I can't um do it. Like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a um. I can't really do it that fast. So the first thing, this tape measure is not long enough because uh, I'm the first one I'll make is um 50 yards, and I'm gonna go by 15 by 15 by 15, going up by 15. But this measures in feet, so a yard equals three feet. So if 15 yards, it's um 40, no, 30, 45 feet. So I'm going to mark this with something and go again. So the thing is going to be 45 feet. So this is 26. So I'm going to mark it right here. Just try to make right here. This is 26. So... Nineteen more feet to go. I'm gonna leave this um this brick right there. And so nineteen more feet to go. So let me oh wait, let me just go bring the brick. Since I already made a nine day. So I can hold so I can hold um tape measure with. Um so let me just hold it. So it's nineteen feet to go. So it's right here. Just put this right here. Okay, so 19 feet to go. So it's right here. So let me just put my phone down again. And just make a, a mark. Just make a mark really fast. And you're gonna need an object. I'm just try to find something to um you need an object to mark your 50. I mean your yeah 15 15 yards width. So I have another brick right here. Uh, I'll mark it. So It's gonna be right here. 
I'll mark it like that. This is where it ends. So now I have to go back to the over there. Back to where I started from. I'm trying to leave the tape measure right there so I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go back over this way. This is gonna take a while you guys, so just stay with me. So, I don't know if you can see the brick right here, right there. Let me just focus over there. I don't know if you can see. I can't zoom with the phone so for some reason. Let me just put my phone down and let me just mark this. And I'll show you right now how I mark it. Okay guys, so I just marked it like that, 15, I'm sorry, um, it's really kind of hard to write on it, so, like that, okay? So, I'm just, do it, like this, I'm not sure if you can see it, I have to mark the other way, because I meant to, I marked it the wrong way, Let me just, like that. So the little point that you see on the right, you're going to put that where the object is, and that's where we're going to measure, okay? So let me just put this back here and go back. So I measure another 15 feet, so it could be 30. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make like three points. The the most I can shoot because I don't have a scope is like 15, 45 yards. So yeah, guys. Um, because I only use the iron sights on it, so. Let me just mark. Let me just mark some more than 15 feet, which is 45 feet. I mean, not feet, yards. I'm, com I'm getting confused right now. So I'm just mark 15 yards again, which starts right here. But since this doesn't um, reach 15 yards, I'm just gonna have to do the, the same thing that I do. So let me just get those bricks over there. So I'm just going to replace this one with that one and I'm just put the tape going down again, right there, okay so okay so 26 feet, 19 more to go. Let me just lock this. We'll get the brick. And just um, put this right here where 26 feet is. I mean, yeah, 26 feet. And let me just get, take this off. And um, 19 more to go. Oh, sorry, guys. So 19 more feet to go, which is going to be just put it, let me just unlock this. Go back. So yeah, as I said, just stay with me, guys. Let me just put this right here. Just unlock this again. No. So.
Oh, I just messed this up. Whoa. I'm just going to mark it. 19 more feet. We're gonna be right there. Just it hurts when you just have it in your hand and you're um putting it back. So I let it go. So let me just get something else just to mark it. So I can see better. Let me just stand this up. I'm gonna try to stand it up. Okay. So the total, um, the length. It's right now it's 30 yards. So let me just get the materials from over here if I can. Okay, so my mark is right here. So if you, I don't know if you can see that guys right there, little dot right there. That's where I'm gonna. Well, that's where I'm gonna mark it right now. Let me just put my phone down, and I'll show you what I did right now. Okay, so right here, so I marked it. Let me just take the lid off so you can see better. It's 1530 um, yards. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it right there. And um, on the next video, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to use it. If, if you don't know, or you can just find out by yourself. Um, let me just see. I put the numbers wrong, so. I don't know if you can read it right there or this way. So you have to be able to put it this, the right way. So I'm gonna make a mark. So so that's 30 yards. So right there, with the other point on the bottom, it's 15 yards. So it kind of works, guys. The only problem is that you have to mark the first point, so you could be able to know where the 30 yards is. Like just mark the 15, or it depends what you put. Like if I put 10 yards, I gotta go like where my blind is start from right there and then put because you have to be accurate guys so i'm gonna start start from right there and mark and just make it like a little mark right there or just put a, a stick or just a rock or something just just to mark it 15 yards and then you can go from there like yes you, you can make it at your house and then when you're in the field just um be able to mark like I can't explain it really good. Like, first you have to mark where, you, where like the 15 yards, and then that you go from there. But it, you take it when you're all done. Well, if if I did a good job showing you guys, just put a like, thumbs up, um, and rate and comment, and I would subscribe. And well, you could comment like if what I did wrong. So I can know how to do it better, or if you have any improvements that you can do, just um, comment down below. So yeah, guys, um, 
I tried to put a squirrel hunting video that I did. That I still have it right here. I'm trying to upload it. So yeah, guys. Um, thanks for watching.